Hey guys, I have a swap project share to share with you guys today. Uh, I totally forgot to do this video, so I have to do it super quick because I have my packages getting picked up shortly. So I wanted to do a quick video to share with you guys what I created for this Easter swap. You probably won't see this video until the person receives it, just so it'll be a surprise. But I participated in a pocket letter swap that was hosted by It's a Deal here on YouTube. And my partner was Diane, who is crafting with Fury here on YouTube. And I actually don't do a whole lot of swaps, but I had decided to do one. So I was partnered with Diane. And it's kind of cool, I guess, like, um, to, like, when you sign up and stuff, you know, sometimes you get to meet a new person which was my case she had said she already subscribed to me and I know like on my channel I don't get a lot I don't get any notifications like of new subscribers and stuff so I honestly didn't even know who she was but since like we did the swap now we know each other and like I you know subscribe to her and stuff and you know watch her videos now so it's kind of a cool way to get to know new crafters out there that you may not have known about otherwise so that was kind of cool but the swap was an Easter slash spring swap, and you had to make a full-size pocket letter, two handmade embellishments, and then send two extra, like, store-bought goodies. And so, I am not a pocket letter maker. That's not my thing, so I kind of challenged myself a little bit. It's so weird, because, like, I can make these big, elaborate things, no problem, but, like, little kind of simpler things like pocket letters are the kind of things that I struggle with. <laughs> So hopefully my partner likes the one I created. So it's more kind of simple um, design. So this is mine that I made. I don't know. I mean, she's cute. I did buy this digital paper from Etsy. And then I also bought the little um, like clip art pieces page, whatever it was called. Um, so I used, I, cut, I printed out two different ones. So I used this one on the pocket letter and I have another one that's on another project I'll show you here shortly so this is the pocket letter I created I made this little tassel with these ribbons right here and I just kind of tied it on there it, it can come off if she doesn't want to have it on there like if you store it in a binder or something and you it's too big so um this is the pocket letter that I did but I don't know I mean it's cute but for me like I said pocket letters are not my forte so um hopefully she likes it so that's the pocket letter portion of the swap. So I did make a few things for her. So the first thing I created is this folder and I did make it um, from scratch. Um, I used some paper, a piece of Prima paper. It's like the A4 size paper and I just folded it in half. I did some collaging with the paper that I had printed out. And then on the front here is this little bunny and all these pieces I did kind of coordinate together. So I just kind of used the same things on them. So I made this tag and then I just glued it here on the front and did some layering of these different trims and stuff. And then I made this little bow right here out of some paper. So this is the little folder that I did and then this is the back. So it goes like that. And then I just added this purple ribbon here on the side to keep it closed. And then on the inside, there is some goodies in here. So um, there's this big pack of these blings. I just folded it in half so it would fit. So there's that. And then there is some Jolie stickers. So these are the pockets. I used, again, the paper that I had purchased. Um, the digital paper and then I just added a little bit of trim kind of to give it more um, to keep it more sturdy so it wouldn't rip as you're taking stuff out or putting it in so I just stuck some goodies in there you know she could put whatever she would like in there but um, that's just what I did so I think the folder came out really cute so hopefully she likes it the next thing I did was I did a little altered bag. And so this is what the bags looked like. It was a two pack. One was purple and then there was this blue one. So it originally had handles on the top. I took those off and then I just kind of trimmed the bag down a little bit um, to make it not so tall. 
and then this is this is the other uh, clip art that I printed out that goes with that collection and I just used it here on the front of the bag it's really cute I just uh, folded the bag up made this little pocket here and then just did some layering and stuff on here so there's some paper some different trims these little this bunnies be hopping and that little cartoon looking bunny those were actually um, what are they called like the cupcake pick things and I just on this one I took out the little pick and on the little bunny guy I left it in there because it was just going to be glued in anyways and then there is some layered right here you could see one and then there is one over here um, layered glittered egg die cuts so um, that's that and then just added a little rosette and this little felted bunny here I thought he was really cute and then so the front pocket just has these like dimensional um, egg stickers and then the there's some goodies on the inside and then I just added this little paper clip here that has a little bunny attached to the top so I made that for her then I made these um, collaged or what did I call them I made some other ones and I shared another video on I forgot what I called them but these are paper clips they're uh, embellishments that you could use on a project or you can you know use them however they are paper clips I made it all like I don't know you'll I don't want to open the package up to show you but um, these are the ones that I did. Usually when I'm making these, I'll do a set of four. So this will be one of my, um, handmade embellishments. So they're just like collage paper clips. I think they're so cute. Again, I used the same stuff that I was using on the other items. So they all coordinate together. And so then I just packaged them up like this and yeah, they think they came out super cute. So I just made this backing with some cardstock and some washi tape. This is the same washi tape I used on the pocket letter and then some of the same paper. So this one and this one have the color or the printable paper and then this one and this one have some like store-bought uh, Easter paper. So there's those super cute if you guys have been with me for a while you guys know I really like to make um, altered coffee sleeves so I decided to make one for her as well and so this is what I came up with again using the same kind of items that I've been using um, but in this one I put a packet of spiced apple cider as opposed to like hot chocolate um, you know the hot chocolate packets whatever so I went ahead and I did that even though the weather is getting a little bit warmer I just was like well she might like it I don't know if not she could you know give it to somebody else um, so yeah anyways this is the one that I did and I just used the digital paper on the back as well and then made the bow and then this is a little felt piece and then just did some layering right there so I made her that I think it's really cute then I made her a mem memory dex card. I think that's what they're called. I'm very new to these. I've only made like two. Um, so again, I just used the same kind of items I was using already. So this has the same like layering pieces as the little folder that I made. It's the same like pieces, whatever. And so I just add a little bunny and a carrot. And then I put a little bow on her head that I made. And then on the back, here's the little pocket I did. And then this little bunny pulls out. And on the back of it is like all my information. You know how you're supposed to put like your name and address and all that. So that is in the back. And then I just used some bought paper or some reg what the store bought paper and some digital paper on the back and to make the pocket. So, um, yeah, I made that. She's so cute. So I got then I altered this notebook. I had purchased a couple notebooks. I hauled them a while back. I think, uh, I don't know, a few videos back. And I had mentioned that I was going to alter them. So this is the one that I made for her. Again, using like the little bunny that's on the other thing. And then some of the same bought paper I used as the front for here. And then on the back, I used another paper from the pack that's just this one right here. So 
Um, I just use some different trims from my stash. And of course, you guys know I love to layer and all that. So um, this is a little more like shabby chic style. I don't know if she's into that, but um, I was working on a couple journals. And so while I was doing those that have the same kind of items, I went ahead and created this for her at the same time. So hopefully she likes it. It just has like um, plain paper on the inside. So that looks like that. So this is the other um, embellishment that I did that was specifically like for the swap, like the two handmade embellishments. So the one was the collage paper clips and this is the other one. I have it wrapped up here. So I made this belly band with some of the digital paper. And then I did some decorating on the front, again, with the same trims and stuff that I was using. Another one of those glittered bunnies and a bow that I created. So um, that's why I chose to wrap it up. I guess I should have did that. Open it up first. So, All right, so when you open it up, here is the belly band that I made. Just really cute. And then I have the glassine bag that the belly band goes over. And then inside of that, I made these two shaker tags. Really cute. I really like the way these came out. So they're both the same. So I just made, you know, the little shaker bottoms, added some of the digital paper, some of the different trims. I made these bows and then just added some pink seam binding to the top as the little toppers. So I made two of those. And then when I was working on the folder, I created this little pocket. This is like the junk journal part of me that just decided to do something like that. So it's just a super thin pocket that is with the digital paper and then some of the same items. And then there is two little um, cards in here. So she could use this on a project or if she does journaling or anything, she could just kind of add it to that if she wants. So that is my second um, handmade embellishment for the swap so hopefully she likes those um there is other goodies but i'm not going to share those it's if she wants to share them she can but um i'm just showing you guys the stuff i actually created so hopefully my partner likes them i like i said i have to get this wrapped up because my mail is getting picked up so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye